Hey, hey, hey. Coast Guard, cautions about something on the horizon. Wanna know what it is? Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Morning everybody and welcome to Cruise Chatter. So, the eastern reaches of the Atlantic Ocean are quite are quiet lately. Uh, devoid of the atmospheric disturbances that frequently turn into tropical storms and hurricanes as they barrel westward, gaining steam from the Caribbean's warm waters and often impacting cruise ships' itineraries. But that is no reason to become complacent. The U.S. Coast Guards warn in a preparedness notice on August 26, 2024, the hurricane season continues to November 30th, 2024, and the peak season has just begun. It starts in uh, middle August and runs through most of October. The U.S. Coast Guard uh, notice points out of all that uh, all mariners plus the populations of the coastal southeastern U.S., Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands to remain on alert for future storms. Just before uh, hurricane season begins, on uh, began on June 1st, 2024, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration (NOAA) predicted an 80 percent, 85 percent probability of an above-normal hurricane season. It is estimated that between four and seven storms will reach hurricane strength, with winds reaching 111 miles per hour or more. In, in its midsummer update on August 8, uh, NOAA predicted a 90% chance for an above normal Atlantic hurricane season. However, so far, just two major storms, Alberto and Vero, reached hurricane status and wrecked havoc in some areas of the Caribbean. Uh, While well, the Coast Guard alert offer advice uh, to recreational mariners and offshore onshore populations, cruise lines officials are no doubt keeping eyes peeled to the eastern Atlantic in anticipation of those more tropical storms and hurricanes forming in the next several weeks. The first uh, named storm of the 2024 season, Alberto, hit the Western Caribbean on June 20th and affected a large uh, swath of the Texas Gulf Coast, including the busy port of Galveston. Heavy rains and high winds impacted the region, but did not alter any cruise departure. Several major cruise lines home port in Galveston, including Carnival Cruise Lines, which based three ships there, the Jubilee, the Dream, and the Carnival Breeze, and uh, also Royal Caribbean home ports two ships there, uh, the Mariner and the Harmony of the Seas, like the Carnival Cruise Lines ships, all of us were safely at sea when Alberto hit and uh, were able to miss the full effects of its impacts. So we'll keep an eye on what's going on with that, and we'll bring it back to you. So I know there's going to be more news coming up. There's a few storms uh, brewing right now uh, on the coast of Africa. So we'll keep an eye on that and see how that develops. Uh, and I'll bring it back to you. So until then, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for checking out Chris Chatter, Eddie Little Studios. Talk to you soon. Bye.